हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड थियोरी जस्ट नाउ वी हैव सॉल्व्ड वन प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन टू द कंडक्टर प्रॉपर्टीज सो देयर अपॉन वी वर प्रोवाइडेड द करंट डेंसिटी और द कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ द मीडियम एंड द मोबिलिटी ऑफ द फ्री चार्जेस एंड वी वर आस्क्ड टू डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी लेट अस टेक वन मोर प्रॉब्लम वेयर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी इज गिवन टू अस एंड वी आर आस्क्ड टू डिराइव the current density from that also we have different values of drift velocity the charge configurations and all that so let us see problem number 2 the statement of problem number 2 is find magnitude of current density within aluminum sample if part a e bar is equal to 7 millivolt per meter part b free electron drift velocity is 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second in part c it is in the form of a cube 1 mm on side carrying a total current of 25 amperes and lastly at the part d we have it is in the form of a cube 1 mm on side again with a potential difference of 75 microvolt between the opposite faces given sigma is equal to 3.82 into 10 to the power 7 mo per meter and mu sub x e is equal to 0.0012 milli square per volt second now to read the problem statement what information we get the first information we get that in the previous problem the material was a silver material and here we have the aluminium sample so the material is aluminium we were provided the values of conductivity of silver material and the mobility of free charge carriers in silver here also at the last we are given the conductivity value for the aluminum sample represented by sigma so it has 3 into 3.82 into 10 to the power 7 mo per meter whereas the mobility of free charge carriers in aluminum sample is also given to us that is 0.0012 meter square now we have again four parts to solve now what is asked to us we are asked to find magnitude of current density generally for the conductors having practical volume we represent the current density by capital j and it is in the vector form that is j bar we are asked to find magnitude of this vector current density it means we have to take mod of this j bar so j bar is equal to what is the question in this problem number 2 whereas in the previous problem the question was mod of e bar is equal to what that is magnitude of electric field intensity so here is the reversal in part a electric field intensity is given to us with the value 70 millivolt per meter in part b we have free electron drift velocity generally we denote it by v sub is d it is also the vector drift velocity and having the value 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second in part c again as like the silver material we have the cubical shape for the aluminum sample and here the side length is 1 mm carrying a total current we represent capital i by 25 amperes and lastly again it has a cubical shape 1 mm of side and with a potential difference what we generally represent v sub x ab given by the value 75 microvolt between the opposite cases so let us begin to solve the magnitude of current density that is mod of j bar for part a so for part a i write the given details first of all the given details are sigma is equal to 3.82 into 10 to the power 7 mo per meter and mobility of charge carriers in aluminium material is given by mu sub x e 0.0012 meter square per volt second these are the two given values the third given value is, is e bar that is electric field intensity and it is 70 millivolt per meter here only the magnitude is given that is why i put the bar over here so here we have three values three known values and one unknown value we have to determine that is mod of j bar mod of j bar is equal to 1 so now we use the relationship the relationship of 
So here we require the relationship of the J bar that is current density with electric field intensity E bar. So that relationship is J bar is equal to sigma E bar what we call the Ohm's law in the field theory also. Now we require the magnitude of J bar hence I put simply mod of J bar is equal to sigma into mod of E bar. So sigma value is with us that value is 3.82 into 10 to power 7 whereas mod of E bar is also given to us that is having the value 70 millivolt per meter. So for milli I put 10 to power minus 3 into the multiplication. So 3.82 into 10 to power 7 into 70 into 10 to power minus 3. Finally magnitude of J bar that is mod of J bar we obtain with the value 2.674 into 10 to power 6. So as this is magnitude of current density J bar is the cross sectional current density hence the unit to be put is ampere per meter square. So this is the required answer for part A. Here we have the problem statement in part A we were given the E bar that is electric field intensity 70 millivolt per meter and we are asked to find current density magnitude so that we have derived the value 2.674 into 10 to the power 6 ampere per meter square. Now let us focus on to the part B. In part B we are given the free electron drift velocity VD given by 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second. So let us begin solving for part B. We require magnitude of current density. So here also in part B we take the given data first of all that is sigma is equal to 3.82 into 10 to the power 7 mo per meter. We have the mobility of free electrons in the aluminum sample that is 0 0.0012 meter square per volt second. We have here the drift velocity Vd is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second and we require the mod of J bar. So now for determination of J bar, we have used the relationship J bar is equal to sigma times E bar that is also called as Ohm's law in field theory. So here sigma is with us, we don't have capital E bar electric field intensity for part B and we are required to find out the mod of J bar. So for determination of electric field intensity to be used in this particular formula, let us say this is equation number one, we have the relationship of drift velocity with the electric field intensity. The drift velocity is given by Vd is equal to mu sub x e into e. So this is vector form of this relationship. So let us say this is equation number 2. So from equation number 2 we have e bar is equal to Vd bar upon mu e. As we are interested in magnitude only we put mod of e bar is equal to simply Vd as we are given only the magnitude value upon mu suffix e. So let us substitute let us say this is equation number 3 into the equation number 1 we obtain mod of j bar is equal to sigma into Vd upon mu epsilon. So with this relationship of current density and the drift velocity we put all the values that is mod of j bar is equal to so sigma value we put that is 3.82 into 10 to the power 7 now we put vd value the drift velocity is given to us that is 10 to the power minus 4 and in the denominator we have mu sub x e that is mobility of charge carriers that is given by 0 0.0012 meter square per volt second. So we have substituted all the values that is conductivity, the drift velocity and the mobility of charge carriers. Hence the required magnitude of current density for part B we obtain. It is given by 3.1833 into 10 to the power 6. As this is current density I put the unit ampere per meter square. So this is the required answer for part B.
so here we have the problem statement the problem statement find the magnitude of current density for these details so here we are finished with part a and part b we have determined j bar so for j bar for part b is 3.1833 into 10 to the power 6 ampere per meter square now let us focus on to the part c in the part c again we have to find the magnitude of current density that is mod of j bar but provided information is that the aluminium sample is of a cubical shape it has a form of cube and that cube has the side length 1 millimeter and it carries a total current of 25 amperes so i represent it by capital i so let us first of all write down the given details the given details for part c are sigma conductivity given by 3.82 into 10 to the power 7 mohs per meter mobility of free charge carriers 0.0012 meter square per volt second then we have total amount of current capital i is equal to 25 amperes and for the cubical shape of aluminium structure this is the cubical shape of aluminium structure aluminium sample you can say the side length the side length l is given by the value 1 millimeter 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters so with this much of details we require mod of j bar mod of j bar so we know that mod of j bar is cross sectional current density if you take the cross section of this cube the surface like this top or bottom a square surface we will be obtaining we are given the total amount of current passing through this cubical sample so the total amount of current divided by the area of one of the side or area of the cross section more specifically will be the current density hence for part c i write the relation capital j bar magnitude is equal to capital i upon s s or a whatever the symbol you use for area of the surface that is okay so this is 25 amperes of current divided by the surface area so surface area is l square side square for the area of a square so here we have 25 upon length is 10 to the power minus 3 it has to be squared so squaring 10 to the power minus 3 and dividing 25 by 8 we obtain magnitude of j bar is equal to 25 into 10 to the power 6 so as this is current density i have to put the unit ampere per meter square this way the required answer for part c we have obtained for the problem statement to find the magnitude of current density for these details we have determined the answer and the answer is 25 into 10 to the power 6 ampere per meter square now we are left with the very last portion that is part d of problem number 2 the details are again it is having a cubical shape for aluminium sample it has again the side length of 1 millimeter but here the total amount of current is not given to us we are given the potential difference what we can represent by v sub x a b between the two opposite sides or opposite faces of the cubical structure given by 75 microvolt so let us begin solving for part d so for part d the given details are sigma is equal to 3.82 into 10 to the power 7 mo per meter mobility of free charge carriers is equal to 0.0012 meter square per volt second then we have the potential difference between the two opposite faces of the cubical shape given by 75 microvolt micro means 10 to the power minus 6 and we have the side length of the cubical structure is equal to 1 millimeter so here the cubical structure can be shown like this we have to take the two opposite sides the opposite sides of the cubical structure i show with different color this side and this side and we are asked to find magnitude of 
j bar here now we require magnitude of j bar so here also we will be using the ohm's law in field theory that is j is equal to sigma e j bar is equal to sigma e bar so sigma here we have we require electric field intensity but we are provided the potential difference potential difference is also there and the separation length between these two phases is also there hence we can determine the electric field intensity magnitude so first of all i write electric field intensity magnitude that is mod of e bar is given by potential difference between the two opposite walls of this particular tube divided by the side length which is the separation distance between these two walls so mod e bar is equal to vab upon l hence mod j bar from the ohm's law of field theory we can write sigma into in place of e bar we put v suffix ab upon l so i put the sigma value sigma value is 3.82 into 10 to the power 7 vab that is potential difference is given to us 75 microvolt 75 into 10 to the power minus 6 and this is all divided by the side length l it is 1 mm hence it is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 so having the multiplication and simple division in this step we obtain the magnitude of j bar that is magnitude of current density equal to 2.865 into 10 to the power 6 again i have to put the unit in si system that is ampere per meter square so this way we are solved with part d of this problem statement so in the last video for problem number 1 we have determined the magnitude of electric field intensity when current density and other details like the drift velocity the potential difference the total amount of current the sample length for the cubical uh, silver material were given here also we have seen finding magnitude of current density for given electric field intensity the total amount of current the cubical shape the potential difference and all that i hope you have understood all this determination of current density and determination of electric field intensity in the subsequent lecture we are going to solve problem number 3 based on to the topic that is conductors properties and boundary conditions for more information on electromagnetic field theory you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you